I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about alpha-GPC, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and possible side effects. Alpha-GPC is a choline source that's derived from soy or sunflower lecithin, and it's naturally present in small amounts in your body. Alpha-GPC is more bioavailable than other sources of choline for brain benefit. Unlike choline citrate or choline bitrate, it easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. This makes alpha-GPC a preferable choline source for use within exp for ex experienced nootropics users. Alpha-GPC is a precursor to the essential neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So alpha-GPC, this type of choline is produced in small amounts in your body, but you also get it from eating organ meats, dairy, and uh, wheat germ. Choline is considered an essential nutrient because your body uses it faster than it can produce it. You need supplemental choline from food or from a supplement. You need choline to form the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and for the formation of phosphatidylcholine, or PC, which is used in building cell membranes. In fact, choline is so vital to cognitive and nerve function that without it, we wouldn't be able to think, sleep, or remember anything. We wouldn't even be able to move. Alpha-GPC is used throughout our body. It even helps the production of human growth hormones. Athletes use it for peak performance and to build lean muscle mass. It provides more energy for a workout and quicker recovery. But here we're talking about alpha-GPC and how it affects your brain health and chemistry. Now a lot of people when they're first getting involved in brain optimization in tropics get confused about the different types of choline that are available. Like alpha-GPC versus CDP choline, which is also called citicholine, versus choline bitricrate. What's the difference between all these choline supplements? Well, choline is a water-soluble supplement. Its composition is similar to B vitamins. Alpha-GPC, CDP choline, choline citrate, and choline bitricrate, they're all sources of choline. CDP choline, also referred to as citicholine, it's only about 18% choline by weight. Your body naturally synthesizes choline into CDP choline. It's then converted into phosphatidylcholine, or PC, which assess, assists cell membranes and helps create acetylcholine. Now, choline bitrate, it's an economical form of choline. It's about 40% of choline by weight. So one gram of choline bitrate offers 400 milligrams of actual choline. It does not easily cross the blood-brain barrier, though, so you won't get as the same level of nootropic benefits with alpha-GPC uh, or CDP choline by using uh, choline bitrate. Now, alpha-GPC, it's about 40% choline by weight, and it easily crosses your blood-brain blood barrier. Alpha-GPC naturally occurs in your brain as a byproduct of phosphatidylcholine, or PC, when your brain needs more choline and the choline floating around in your brain is running low, it breaks down PC from cell membranes and turns it into alpha-GPC. So your brain and body love it when you use alpha-GPC because it doesn't have to cannibalize its own cells to get more choline. So how does alpha-GPC work in your brain? Well, it boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, Alpha-GPC boosts acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter tied to memory and brain function. Alpha-GPC is a precursor to acetylcholine by improving the efficiency of communications between neurons in your brain. This increases neural signaling, which boosts memory, learning, cognitive processing, and mental clarity. In one study, 32 um, healthy researchers received either alpha-GPC or a placebo as a pretreatment. Ten days later, they were injected with scopolamine to induce amnesia. 
the researchers found that alpha-GPC was able to prevent the impairment of attention and memory normally caused by scopolamine. So these researchers showed that memory function in young healthy people could be racked up a notch simply by taking alpha-GPC as a supplement. And second, alpha-GPC directly is involved in the development of cell membranes in the cerebral cortex. This outer layer of neural tissues or gray matter is the information processing center of your brain. It controls intelligence, motor function, um, personality, planning, and touch. The study published in Clinical Therapeutics, researchers conducted a double-blind placebo-controlled trial with mild to moderate Alzheimer's patients. 400 milligram capsules were administered three times per day for 180 days. The conclusion of this trial showed consistent improvement in dementia patients that were given alpha-GPC. So research from hundreds of studies has shown that alpha-GPC improves memory and learning ability. It restores the bioavailability of acetylcholine. It restores and boosts nerve growth factor receptors in the brain. It increases growth hormone in all age groups, and it boosts cognitive performance and memory in Alzheimer's patients. Alpha-GPC is water-soluble, so it quickly enters your brain after you take it. Once in your brain, it boosts signal transmission and it protects neurons. Alpha-GPC improves your cognitive function and learning processes by directly increasing the synthesis and secretion of acetylcholine as your body calls for it. This form of choline is not a precursor to phosphatidylcholine choline or PC, but to a metabolite of PC. This means that once PC is metabolized and stripped of its fatty acids, all that remains is alpha-GPC. So instead of scavenging, scavenging your own membranes for alpha-GPC, when you take alpha-GPC as a supplement, you give your body the, exactly the type of choline that it's looking for. So how does alpha-GPC feel when you take it as a supplement? Well, if you have trouble getting started in the morning, try coffee and 400 milligrams of alpha-GPC instead of your usual high-sugar, high-carbohydrate breakfast. Alpha-GPC can be great to boost your energy. Take it 45 minutes before you work out. Alpha-GPC helps with memory, mood, mental performance, and energy. Its brain support and ability to fuel the acetylcholine in your brain cells should boost cognition in all age and gender groups. And there's plenty of research uh, that has been done on alpha-GPC. For example, uh, it shows that alpha-GPC increases human growth hormone. It increases the release of dopamine. It facilitates learning and memory. It relieves cognitive impairment in Alzheimer's patients. All of these studies, you can find full details and links on the website Nootropics Expert for the Alpha-GPC article. As for dosage, Alpha-GPC is about 40% choline by weight, so 1,000 milligrams of Alpha-GPC provides about 400 milligrams of choline. Suggested dosage for cognitive benefit, 400 to 1,200 milligrams a day. For athletic training, Alpha GPC, 400 milligrams first thing in the morning, and then another 400 milligrams uh, 15 to 30 minutes before working out. Clinical treatment of Alzheimer's disease, dementia, and other cognitive disorders, the dosage of alpha GPC is up to 1,200 milligrams per day. Now, for higher doses, split the daily alpha GPC total into two or three doses a day. So, for example, 1,200 milligrams would be taken 400 milligrams at a time. As for side effects, alpha-GPC is produced naturally in your body, so it's considered well-tolerated and safe. Side effects are rare, but they can include fatigue, headaches, nervousness, nausea, diarrhea, stomach issues. This is often an indication of too much choline in your body. Because alpha-GPC causes an energy boost, um, you should probably avoid dosing it late in the evening or you may have difficulty getting to sleep. 
As for available forms, because alpha-GPC tends to liquefy at 99 to 100% concentrations, many suppliers offer 50% offer alpha-GPC powder combined with 50% of a filler like silicon dioxide. So adjust your dosage accordingly. Alpha-GPC is made from soy and sunflower lecithin, one or the other. So if you're trying to avoid soy in your diet, look for alpha-GPC no soy or labeled as a derivative of sunflower lecithin. So my nootropics expert recommendation is for alpha-GPC 400 milligrams to 1200 milligrams per day. So that's my report on alpha-GPC. If you want to see the uh, links to the studies I talked about, go to Nootropics Expert and search for alpha-GPC. There you'll find a full transcript to this video. Uh, you'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or want to share your experience using alpha-GPC, go to my site at Nootropics Expert and leave it in the comments section at the bottom of the article. We also have a growing forum on Nootropics Expert, where you can go and talk about anything related to, to nootropics and optimizing your brain. If you want to see more videos on all the popular nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Tomey, author of Nootropics Expert.